Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I have a new Vancouver feature for you that will blow your mind or you're just going to be so happy that it's finally here. I've been waiting on this feature since Kingston. That's when I first got introduced to service now and here we are with Vancouver and it's finally happening. Let's cut the suspense. Let me show you what's going on. I'm going to drag a window over here. What I've got up behind me is Utah, okay? So I want you to see the difference in behavior between Utah and um, Vancouver. So this is a my finder window. I've got some attachments over here. This is an incident up behind me. I'm just going to click on one of these and drag it onto the incident, okay? You see I've got there attachment 1.png. When I let go, attachments are not allowed, okay? That's the experience in Utah and before. Here's an incident on the portal. Same thing. If I click on add attachments, I just get a pop-up menu, a system dialog to add an attachment. If I try to drag something over, uh, it just shows what's, basically it just shows what the attachment was in a new tab. It's like Chrome loading it up, so it doesn't help. So, let's go to Vancouver. I'm going to go to my PDI. This is, we'll start on the incident record, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab my attachment, same behavior, but watch this. When I click on it, it attaches my picture. Oh my gosh, I think so many users and so many admins are gonna be so happy of this new feature. Maybe their mind will be blown like this nice picture I got from Doll E. Thank you, thank you Open API, or Open AI, sorry, not Open API, Open AI. Um, so that's number one on a record in the back end for a fulfiller, someone who's working in service now. But it also works in the portal. I don't have an incident record producer, but I do have a request knowledge base. It works a little different here. If you click the add attachments button, Button, you get this dialog and of course you can drag and drop into there so if I just drag I can do that um, that will upload my attachment and you can see the attachment down there this one also though if I was just to copy and paste my attachment I'm just gonna command C control C on your, your Windows PC and I'm gonna paste um, whoops I'm gonna paste wait it's not working it worked before I hit record I promise let's try that one more time copy and then I'm going to paste, and there you go. So Control or Command V, Control V. I was just able to drag and drop an attachment into the service portal, and I was able to copy and paste an attachment. Um, the one caveat being, you got to click this little paperclip icon before it knows what to do. So if I was to just drop it on here, it's going to do the same thing we saw on uh, Utah. But Vancouver is a little bit smarter in that it can drag and drop, and you got that new dialogue. And of course, for the incident, um, you saw what happened there, and it uploaded our picture. So that's the new. Feature in Vancouver for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and fun like I did. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in dragging and dropping and copying attachments into their ServiceNow instance. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.